It's now Saturday morning and um, I'm ready to go to hold my first workshop of the first workshop weekend. Um, so it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, I will have to walk to the like train station there and then take the train to the actual venue. But the good news is that Mikiko is going to pick me up and she's going to go with me to walk me through how to use the Tokyo train system, which will be an adventure in itself. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to experiencing that because I've seen it so much. And so um, I'm going to take you with me now to uh, the workshop so you just get a little bit of a glimpse of how it looks like. Obviously, for um, policy reasons from the company, I cannot really um, show or broadcast the actual seminars and workshops. And so, um, but I still wanted to make sure that you get a, a look behind the scenes here in what it can be like to go to different countries and to share the light that we're all given and to just um, connect with people from all over the world and uh, it's it is just such a joy to really allow for the light team to um, guide us uh, through this journey really and so I'm super excited to just share this experience with all of you um, with this wonderful light tribe and so uh, come along and um, I'll see you at the venue. <laughs> All right, so we're at the Roppongi station, <laughs> as you can hear. Yeah. So right now there is nobody here, it's very empty, but uh, once the trains arrive, of course, it's gonna get really, really busy here. Uh, so the adventure is actually less of an adventure because Mikiko, thankfully, <laughs> she knows her way around. And <laughs> I don't have to worry. And so every time I will go to the workshop, I will be having an angel with me <laughs> to help me. So now there's a train coming, apparently. So, all right. <laughs> so I'll see you later at the venue. So now we are at the actual venue where the workshop will begin. We're still a little bit early right now, um, but <laughs> so this is where I will be doing the workshop and the energies are just lovely here. So everything is getting ready. All right. All right, so we're here at the at a Brazilian restaurant. <laughs> we're having lunch uh, in between the workshop right now, and the the restaurant is called Cielo e Rio, and this is where we found some uh, vegan options or vegetarian options. It's near the venue where the ve uh, workshop is being held, and so we are having a wonderful view here to the river, and so this is the. This is the restaurant. We're right now here actually on the second floor. It has a few um, stories actually. And so it's just gorgeous really. Um, and so we are nurturing ourselves. And so the team, the team is all here. So we have Mikiko. This is uh, our wonderful interpreter, Seka. And, and we have Kyoko here. Kyoko, say hello. <laughs> All right, so we'll have some really good food. The food has arrived and we have some beautiful salads here. 
and some more salads. It's, it's not entirely vegan, but there are some great options. Yes, oops, sorry for the camera here. All right, so we are going to have a good time. The interpreter, all she's getting is bread. <laughs> Just kidding. Her food uh, is still on the way, but we are hungry and we are ready to eat. Behind me here, you can see the sky tree. And uh, this was the tallest building in the world until Dubai built the tallest building in the world. So it's a, it's a beautiful building here. I just thought I'd show you this. Tokyo Sky Tree. All right, so this is the view from the venue, actually. <laughs> so we're on the 11th floor. And behind me, you can see the Sky Tree. Again, just thought I'd give you a little glimpse of where we are and Tokyo a little bit of Tokyo from above all right so I just finished the workshop day one with this wonderful group here um, all the people in the audience were so sweet and nice and um, it was a lot of fun I must say and Adama had of course a really good time with everybody and uh, so now day one is finished and so now I'm gonna go home and rest and then tomorrow onward to day two. All right, see you later. Good morning, so it is day two of the workshop series and um, excuse my <laughs> my very nebulous uh, screen here the humidity is so high here <laughs> right now that uh, everything is fogging up um, and I just don't have any other way <laughs> to film it but I really wanted to share uh, something really important with you because a lot of people ask me so how do you prepare for your events um, or for your workshops or when you're channeling in front of people um, or when you do any kind of work spiritually with an audience and so I just thought I'd share with you a couple of tips um, when you're a light worker on how to really prepare for your workshops so the first thing I'm really doing in the mornings of course is to meditate and what I do is really to send out the sincere request to the beings of light that I'm working with to just um, be there and I'm just the vessel really for the audience and so I'm asking him so what do you want the audience to know what is it that is important to the audience what would be helpful for the audience and I'm really just in between the beings of light and the audience and so um, that makes my job really easy because this way um, the beings of light like um, Adama of Telos or Archangel Michael or the galactic team, they can just um, really convey or provide to the audience what they need. And so the first thing I really am doing is, number one, um, make this request or ask the question, what, is the audi what does the audience need? And I'm here to just be in between and to convey what you want to convey. So just really state the service that you want to render to the audience and to your team of flight that you're working with. And then another tip I can really share is for those of you who are a little bit on the shy side. I'm actually a shy person, believe it or not. Um, and so when, I, when I'm in front of the audience or before I even enter a room, I fill the entire room with light and I put angel wings on each of the audience members. I put angel wings on everybody and I just uh, bathe them with light and I just really feel into my heart how much love I have for them really and so this is another really good tip and of course I also fill myself with light my whole body my aura with light I put even little angel wings on myself because I think it's great to be amongst angels and so these are a couple of tips I can share with you really and to just um, be in the moment this is the other really important uh, tip 
So it's a very um, generic term. I know you hear it a lot, be in the moment, blah, blah, blah. But really, in that moment, it doesn't matter what happened before or what will happen after this moment when you hold your workshop. Enjoy and really savor the moment. Embrace this moment and be happy that you are able to fulfill your purpose and that you can do what you meant to do here on this planet. All right, so I gotta go. My wonderful friend Mikiko is here to pick me up now, and so I'm heading out to day two of the workshops here in Tokyo. All right, see you later. Bye. So it is lunchtime for our workshop and I'm here at the Zen Cuisine Kamakura Fushikan. <laughs> it's a Buddhist restaurant and so when you want to eat vegan and you uh, ask for Buddhist restaurants, they are vegan. And so right now, so today this is what we are going to have and I'm really excited to have their vegan rice, ice cream, vegan rice pudding and all the other delicious dishes that they have. So. All right, I'll show you what we'll have to eat in just a moment. All right, so we got our food finally. <laughs> so this is what we are having here. So they put it all in different little piles. I, it's all vegetarian, vegan actually. So it's really nice. You can eat from everything a little bit. And so we have Kiko. Hi. <laughs> Everybody has a nice. I have no idea what I'm eating really, I must admit, but some of it looks like um, brown rice and miso soup and I think rice pudding tofu, so well, we're going to have to dig in now because we are late. <laughs> Alright, so we had a really delicious meal at this Buddhist restaurant. And I just wanted to show you guys how uh, the taxis are, look actually on the inside. What's different to the American taxis, they have these little cute little um, covers over their seats. And there are the little lace and stuff. And so now we're heading back to the last portion of the, of the workshop here today. And so the food was really delicious. It was, um, many different little uh, vegetable dishes with uh, brown rice and special vegan ice cream and rice pudding so that was a treat because <laughs> here it's really hard to find ice cream that's vegan and so yeah so that was pretty cool.